briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of New Jersey heard a pivotal case in 1982, Houston v. Resorts International Hotel, Inc. The crux of the argument revolved around the general principle that businesses operating in public spaces couldn't ban individuals without cause, only if their presence posed a direct threat to security or disrupted normal business operations. At the center of the legal dispute was Uston, a proficient blackjack player who found himself barred from entry by the casino post's success in using a card-counting strategy. Euston filed suit in response, contending the casino lacked the authority to distance him from their premises. The pivotal issue in question was the Casino Control Act's conferral of jurisdiction to the Casino Control Commission to decree the rules of the game and the aptness of excluding card counters within the purview of those rules. A policy amendment by the Commission significantly increased the chances for card counters like Houston. This sparked concerns within resorts management about potential profit slippages, prompting them to seek the Commission's guidance on the legality of ejecting card counters. Acting on the Commission's affirmation, resorts expelled Uston and moved to keep other identified card counters at bay. Contrary to resorts' claim, the court decreed that an establishment taking the public in stride had no justification in arbitrarily barring Uston. The court underscored that Uston's actions did not compromise the casino's operation nor security, making them ineligible to exercise the exclusion right since they had openly declared the space for public use. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.